off you show as you can see we are in Akihabara we are by the one of the iconic uh, Sega oh sorry the commercial just came on threw me off there I'm gonna uh, move it down a bit here and you can see Akihabara of course uh, this building was one of my favorites actually and it's uh, closed down but uh, yeah let's uh, get into it here Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Morning Coffee Show. Uh, this morning, we're in Akihabara for a reason. Hey, Jay Vlog. Um, I'll say hi to everybody in a minute. Uh, and that's because Ramsey Silent wants me to go to the King's Treasure. And of course, Irvin said, oh, King's Treasure. I think that was yesterday. I, did, I couldn't make it yesterday. Uh, so we're going to be here this morning for about half an hour, and then I get, up, get off to work. So good morning, everybody. Uh, Leone, Jay Vlog, of course. Bill, how are you? Uh, I think I saw Bobby, Frank, Cobra, my evil twin. I always got to say that. I don't know why, but uh, Nick R. Good morning. Ramsey Silent, of course. Good morning. Uh, who else was here? Jason M. My other coffee brother. I got to get a coffee. I haven't even had a coffee. I woke up late. Didn't have a great day uh, yesterday. A uh, bit of pain and stuff, but uh, other than that, uh, that's as far as I can go. So I'll say good morning. Let's uh, take a little bit of a tour here, Indigo. Um, we're going to uh, hit some vending machines. Uh, get some coffee. Hey, Night Riders Gal, how are you? Uh, thank you very much, Night Riders Gal, for being here. Um, and just show you around Akihabara in the morning. So yeah, let's go. Of course, everybody is uh, on their way to work, I guess you could say. Now, for all you perverts out there, that is Pop Life, the green, uh, it's the porn, I call it the porn store. So you know Bobby and Mark will be visiting, or Mark will be visiting there. <laughs> I just had to. Gotta love Akihabara, especially if you are an anime fan or a manga fan. Check out, check it out. Like, everywhere you go. Hey, Anil, good morning. Sorry I didn't say hi to you. Isn't that awesome? I know Carlitos. Is that swastik? No way, bro. Sorry, guys. How are you, man? Look at that. Isn't that cool? I know Carlitos would love all this. Some of you, uh... hey, Jeremy, good morning. Some of you guys would love all this. Hey, Food Taster TV. So yeah, we're just gonna do a quick uh, walk around uh, Akihabara. It's kind of dead here, obviously, but uh, check out all the anime, and of course, we are gonna be hitting up some uh, vending machines. Hey, Chris B, how are you, man? Hell, everyone. <laughs> you forgot the O, man. Of course, uh, hey, Shero. Um, you know, when you come to Akihabara, it is a must stop when you come to Tokyo. I mean, like, Check out the um, the ambiance, the, the the atmosphere. It pretty is. It is pretty cool, right? One day in the future, the J Vlog and I will be live streaming from here. <laughs> Sorry, JP. I'm going to make you do it now. And uh, well, you could walk up that way, but I always love walking down this way. No idea why. Just takes you to the other side, of course. This is a PCR test right here. People are getting uh, PCR tests, little uh, things set up there. I think it costs like 30 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Of course, inside where the security guard is standing um, are all the uh, camera. These are pretty awesome corridors. Going, they're not open right now, but uh, these corridors, you, you go junk shopping or whatever you want to call it for a very, very long time. Of course, this is the other side here of the station uh, where the AKB48 uh, cafe used to be in Gundam Cafe. <coughs> and look, everywhere you go. It is okay. Janet Sun, good morning. And yeah, we're just gonna head straight over to the, the first vending machine. I need to get a coffee. And uh, well, I'm going to the King's Treasure, ladies and gentlemen, for Irvin and Ramsey Silent, of course. Can't wait to see all this in person. Yeah, you know, friend, it's pretty awesome. This used to be, as you guys sure, another vlogger actually did the closing of this uh, building here. They're already uh, redoing it out. And check it out, look at this. Sega, Sega. Of course, the, uh, the haunted vending machines are uh, way the hell down there. We're not going there today. Hey, Carl, good morning. But this is uh, Akihabara. It's not very busy here. And it's nice to see that it's not very busy. Hey, believe in yourself. How are you? 
Look at that, eh? I absolutely just love the way all these buildings are, the way they look. Just, uh, that's a thumbnail right there, man. Isn't that awesome? That is pretty awesome. Now, of course, if you are a manga fan or an anime fan, uh, this would be one of the places you do want to shop. Uh, it is known as an electric town also. Um, I remember back 15 years ago, they had some amazing uh, electronic stores. Um, a lot of these stores um, have been a bit run down. There's a lot that's closed in Akihabara now. Uh, it's not, hey Jackie Hero, it's not like the heyday of 15 years ago, uh, obviously due to the pandemic, but also just due to um, other, other, I guess other, you know, maybe uh, big, uh, big ass electronic stores taking over. Does coffee at Starbucks count as having coffee? If you go to Starbucks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You do have the Chuo line that runs over that way there. And uh, while we are going... Whoa, buddy. Hey, Mission Creek, how are you? Just going to be uh, hitting up some of the back streets here. But my first stop will be the King's uh, Treasure for Ramsey Silent. Uh, Dang, Akihabara looking sparse. Hey, Jason Pointer. Yeah, it looks sparse, eh? Let me do a quick uh, pan around slowly. And, uh, yeah. Well, don't forget, it is uh, 9.15 in the morning. Even the cop isn't on a bike. Damn. But it is looking uh, rather bleak, of course. But, yeah, as soon as you come out from the station here, again, you have your gas chapon. I need to get a coffee here, so give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I haven't had this coffee. This is the Georgia Coffee Max. Uh, do they have enough in here? Jesus. Oh, 120 yen, 130 yen. Ah, let's get some sugar in me today. Ah, damn it, I hate when I don't have enough change. We're gonna get uh, this one here. Oh, grab your change, Drew, and your coffee. So this is the uh, the Georgia Max coffee. Not it's not a bad coffee, but it's not the greatest either. Uh, yesterday uh, during our premiere video, you guys wanted me to go over to Super Potato. Um, I just have couldn't uh, I just couldn't um, get over there yesterday. Oh, thanks, Jay Vlog. That's three now. I got to get. God damn it. <coughs> We got our coffee. So as soon as you hit the KFC, this is where you know uh, the King's Treasure is. Now they don't have ledges here. Kind of pisses me off. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, damn. Holy shit. Hey, Colonel, you're holding a watermelon and you got a snorkel. Hmm, interesting. Why? I have no idea. No idea. They always dress up the Colonel Sanders guys here all the frickin' time. So, um, yeah, everywhere you look, everywhere you look, you are going to find uh, back alleys. We're going to go walk down there in a bit. I'm going to hit up another vending machine just because I, I actually want to do it. But, uh, yeah, here is the King's Treasure. This is uh, one of the most popular ones just due to the fact that it is in Akihabara. And I have no ledge. So I got to put you guys on the ground. I got to put you on the ground. And uh, honestly, guys, like we've, we've done this a few times, of course, and it can be fun. So first off, I'm going to uh, see if I can do this here. Oh, not that way. There, there we go. Ramsey Silent, you are getting... Four two. Uh, I hope it's working. Ah. Okay, I got my money in. Now, of course, if you want, if you do donate, I just gotta tell you this straight up. If you do donate and you actually want it sent to me, you gotta send me twenty-five bucks. PayPal. Otherwise. 
any, oh, thank you, Bobby. Is that Bobby? Oh, thank you. Otherwise, um, yeah, I can't cover sh shipping costs and so on and so forth. Hey, good morning, Irvin. I see ya. <laughs> okay, four, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, four, two. It's a small box, Ramsey Silent. Um, Irvin is in the chat. I know he's watching. Irvin, any number? J Vlog, what number do you want? And Bobby, what number do you want? Um, of course, I will be putting things up for auction again. Uh, oh, I'm going to try to get dirty on the ground, on the ground Drew. <laughs> this time I want you to send me the gift. Um, Bobby, I need shipping costs and stuff like that, so that's how it works. Just so you guys know. Just pick for you. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Nobody's around, so I can actually take my mask off. All right, uh, I'll just pick a random one here. Where in Discord does one find the auction items? Uh, Desert Fox, our auction... Uh, the first auction is over and done with right now. I post it only on Patreon. It's for the, it was for the Patreon members. Any number for me? Okay, so I will pick blindly. Well, that didn't work. I picked two, four, 24 cases of beer. Okay, it looks like we got three white boxes. Ah. Okay, so uh, get me any, get me a go any numbers. I don't have any more change, Nick, so I'm gonna, you're gonna have to wait on that one. Uh, but thanks, guys. Ramsey Silent, this is yours, uh, who sent me the money uh, via PayPal. I'm gonna destroy the box, but uh, it's a piece of paper. That's all it is. Seriously, I have no idea. But uh, looks like a little pouch. Maybe it's like a little coin pouch or something. And you got a scratch ticket of some sort. So uh, Ramsey Silent, this is what I'll be sending you. Ah. I still swear to God, they should have. Uh... Now, uh, Irvin's pick, we scored pretty good, people. We scored, I think, pretty good. Irvin's pick was earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds. They're not uh, I, you know, from Apple or iPods or whatever the hell you call the things, but uh, the wireless earphone translator. That's kind of weird, wireless earphone translator. So that was uh, Irvin's pick. This was uh, Bobby's pick, of course. Uh, hey, Bayou, how are you? And Bobby's pick was kind of boring, it looks like. Mm. Oh. Unfortunately, this cannot be sent to anybody uh, because it is a battery. I cannot send this. Just like in the last one we had, um, there was that pink battery. We cannot ship batteries in the mail, so that kind of sucks. But I'll figure, maybe I can figure something out. Look at that. A Donald Duck, I think, charger of some sort. And a wet towel. 
a wet towel. Hmm. Irvin, I already have a pair from last time, so I'm not sure what to do. And then, of course, uh, J Vlog, save it for the meetup. That might be a good idea, too. Hey, looky, Lou, long time. How are you? Mail it when you come to Vegas. J Vlog, uh, some more. Looks like some uh, headphones here and another uh, Japanese scratch card thing. So, hey, Tokyo Paul, good morning. Um, so yeah, that's what we got uh, today, our little haul, I guess you could say. Oh, it is hot. It is hot. Now, uh, Nick R, we're gonna, I, I ran out of change. I didn't think uh, you guys would want, want me to be uh, doing this so much, but uh, next time I'll uh, keep it up there. I'm gonna go to the vending machine, take a walk around Akihabara for a bit. I gotta be on a train in about 25 minutes to get to work. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go over and uh, uh, pretty much put myself in I'm gonna torment myself we're gonna go get some durian juice and I'll show you where the durian juice and the mango juice uh, uh, place is ah. and by the way at the last auction people all your stuff has been mailed out um, it will take a while to get there but uh, just so you know um, it has been mailed out and Ramsey silent I do have your address correct um, I realized I do have a correct but when I input it for the post office, I forgot the, the wrong post office number. So sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what the scratch ticket is. I'll figure out from Hiromi later on uh, what it is. But um, before we continue though, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of Olympic highlights. Um, I kind of stopped doing the Olympic highlights for a while. Uh, just things haven't been the greatest, but uh, real quickly, uh, just some highlights. Uh, Kawaii wins women's 62 kilogram uh, wrestling gold. Good for her. Japan is killing it with the gold medals. The best ever showing uh, so far. Hital won. Good morning. <coughs> Japan beats Belgium to reach the women's basketball semis, which is good. Uh, Canada and Sweden um, have also have asked their gold medal uh, match in, in women's soccer to actually be moved to a different time so that it is a bit earlier um, in the day because of all this heat exhaustion there are they haven't been making a lot of news reports but there has been a lot of heat exhaustion uh, here during the Olympic Games um, some of the local uh, news outlets have been reporting uh, athletes almost passing out and things like that and I've, I've talked about it before uh, in uh, men's and women's tennis of course um, Japan advances to baseball's gold medal yes uh, and they'll be waiting for the match of uh, South, the winner of South Korea versus the USA, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be the USA, but it doesn't matter if it's Korea, it doesn't matter if it's the USA, Japan is going to win baseball gold again. Canadian, and Auntie Liana actually posted this last night, I think, in the Discord, uh, but Canadian Andre Degas uh, wins gold in the men's 200 meters, so awesome for him. Um, he got bronze in the men's 100, I believe it was. So uh, that with that Italy guy uh, winning, so uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and then here, here is the, the the thing that is so amazing is skateboarding. Now we know Ultraviolet and a few of you uh, love skateboarding and love that it's part of the Olympics. Um, Yo Yoso Zumi won gold in the women's skateboarding uh, with a score of 60.09. She's the only one that got a score of 60 or higher. Uh, nobody else could uh, beat her. That gave Japan gold in three out of the four skateboarding uh, categories. And uh, Japan has five out of a possible nine medals right now. I believe three gold and two silver or a silver and a bronze. Uh, the men's uh, park competition is coming up, I think, tomorrow or today. <coughs> and uh, three more medals up for grabs, of course. And um, and uh, I bet you Japan's probably gonna win. Clean sweep, all skateboarding. I didn't think it would happen. Um, I didn't even think Japan was that good in skateboarding, but uh, there is a story out there um, that uh, I guess the uh, the bronze medalist from uh, Great Britain, I believe it was, um, is lacking in school. They made an article about this. I think it was, or maybe it was 
Japan girl, I'm not sure, but um, that uh, some of these skateboarding girls are way behind in school or skateboarders uh, because they're focusing on the Olympics and focusing on the World Championships and all this, and now they're homeschooling, which isn't a bad thing because I know Bobby, uh, who's in the chat, I, th I think she was homeschooling her kids for a while. So, uh, but yeah, good luck to uh, Japan uh, on the final skateboarding. And then the only other thing I had was American uh, Sydney McLaughlin. Uh, smash her own world record in the 400 meter hurdles at 51.46 seconds. Um, I haven't been, wa I stopped watching the Olympics a little, a little bit now, um, which is kind of sad, I guess. <coughs> Irvin, can you please stop sending me these hilarious uh, messages online? <laughs> they, they pop down and they, they don't. Um, oh, and I just want to give Mindy's mom a shout out. Um, she's uh, been away for a few days. Uh, she will be back uh, later on, but um, Mindy's mom, we love you and I hope your health uh, is good and strong. <clears throat> Let's go take a tour of uh, Akihabara. Let's go hit the, I'm gonna go hit the durian vending machine. I'm gonna go pound uh, some durian, oops for you and uh, show you guys some of the back alleys here. Of course, if you want to go to Tokyo Dome from here, hey, hey, Wanamaker, I know you're watching. Tokyo Dome will be straight up that way. <coughs> Super Potato, you guys wanted me to go to Super Potato. How many of you want me to go to Super Potato? Uh, I don't know necessarily do a live stream, but maybe do a vlog out of it. Super Potato is just right up here. It is a game uh, place, retro game place, uh, two or three floors. You can film inside, because um, I've done it before on a live stream, but it wasn't the greatest, uh, greatest uh, reception going up inside there. But these are basically all the uh, little back streets. Made, number one, made cafe and restaurant. Made dreaming. And the girls actually stand up there trying to get all the otaku boys in. <coughs> the lone Pokemon Go. So again, if you do come to Akihabara, you're not familiar, you're into gaming, that is Super Potato right up there. You can see the Pac-Man and all that stuff up there. <coughs> and you actually go in this door right here up to uh, what is it, second floor, third floor, third and fourth floor, something like that. So it's not too bad. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I can't see the comments too well. My phone dimmed down due to the heat. And if, you, if any of you did join my buddy, uh, Corey May the other day, his phone overheated and his stream just basically crashed, which is too bad for Corey. <coughs> But yeah, this is, uh, check it out guys. That's the big camera. You got Feng's Maccas back there. That's the main street. Carl's Jr. and that hidden Shriner back just over that way a little bit. And once all these uh, places do open, it is pretty awesome. But we're going right over here to the vending machine. Cause I gotta show you guys, for those of you that haven't been around, or just join the channel. Um, Y'all know I hate Doreen. Y'all know I hate Nato. Y'all know I do this. But uh, for the community, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get a Durian juice. It's 200 yen. And the vending machine, once you come into this area here, the vending machine is right here. So again, you have, uh, what do you got? Uh, some sort of uh, melon. That's the durian juice there. You got watermelon. You got, uh, what's that, peach. You got mango. Of course, you have Oden in a can, which I tried, and it's really gross. Uh, wow, they got one, two, three, four, five different monster drinks now. No matter how much mustard you add, natto is not great. <laughs> Good morning. I can't really see your name. Is that Hilly? Good morning and welcome. You can see all these uh, things here. Um, I don't have a, vend uh, a ledge, so that kind of sucks. So uh, bear with me here. 
but uh, I got my 200 yen here. One, and they are glass bottles, ladies and gentlemen. They are glass bottles, so just so you can see, I am pressing the durian juice. And uh, yeah, it's a glass bottle. If you guys can hear that. There are so many vending machines. Uh, hey, Rachel, how are you? Uh, vending machines here in Akihabara. Uh, they, they repeat. I've never seen this actually. That looks yum. Not sure what that is though. And it's sold out too. It's sold out. I know, right? I probably will be burping all day. <laughs> I don't want to stand in the sun. So I'm going to try and sneak on this ledge right here and uh, give you guys a taste of uh, durian juice. Now, of course, you know, people like Feng say they love durian juice. Please stay right there. Please stay right there. Um, they do have all kinds of other vending machines here where <coughs> you can get like little anime figurines uh, like Leone loves her Deadpool. Your Deadpool is on the way, Leone. I don't know if you've got it yet. Um, I don't think so, but uh, here, listen to this. Well, it's hard to open. It is carbonated. Durian is an acquired taste. <laughs> no matter how many times I've done this, I think this is my third time now. It is disgusting. Uh, but you know what? The taste isn't that bad. Why are you doing this? Uh, because the community always wants me to do it. So carbonated funk. This is exactly it. Because, ladies and gentlemen, you know, when I first, uh, yeah, I know Feng's not here. Uh, when I first did this, this is horrible. But I've actually um, had a bit of durian uh, the other day. And um, it, if you get over the smell, the taste isn't really that bad. I said before that I wasn't expecting them until next year. Yeah, well, you will be getting them because I sent it airmail, so. The carbonation tastes like onions in an old shoe. That is probably the best, the best description, Bill. Mm. The carbonation takes away from the strength of the actual for me <laughs> now no one will go close to drew for a while right friend um the carbonation takes away from the the strength of the actual taste of the durian so that's why it is acceptable just like guys natto ice cream mosi hi drew while well, i have worked on them old vending machines for years back in oz giving me nightmares uh welcome to the stream um so i'm kind of getting used to this and uh, like, would I drink this on a regular basis? No, but at the same time, at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, would I eat not to an ice cream like we did uh, about 10 days ago on a regular basis? No, but it wasn't that bad. I still can't eat natto by itself. It is still like one of the grease, the slimiest, what do they call it, superfoods out there? But I don't care if it's superfood, it's freaking gross. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you guys, if you are interested in finding the durian uh, vending machine, it's right here um, in this little alleyway, <coughs> along with all these other wonderful uh, vending machines. I see tomato juice for Cobra here. Um, oh my God, I see Bickle. Unbelievable. Jason Pointer. Not to as decent in onigiri. No, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't agree with you on that one. No. Ah. All right. I might as well finish the morning off with another drink here. And gross you guys out even more. Hold on. I'll be back. I 
just did it, guys. I just did it. No. There's something wrong. I don't know. Oh. Hey, Anil. There you go, bro. I found another Bickle. Anil was one of the, the people that are telling me to get a Bickle. This is like a sour carbonated milk. Um, an acquired taste also. The problem here, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is it's not cold. Yes, Ramsey's silent. It's the Bickle. It's, it's warm. Ah. What? I'm... Ladies and gentlemen, this is for Anil. Cheers to you. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm burping now. It's, um, I sent you a PayPal for another drink to get rid of the taste of those yuck drinks, maybe mango or, oh, thank you, uh, Indigo, I appreciate it. I will grab something on the way back. Ready? This is, can you smell it? Can you smell that? Oh yeah, I forgot to shake it. <laughs> Thanks, Leo. Do you save my ass? You gotta shake these things. Shake, 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 shake your booty. Okay. Here you go. Okay, now. Why did I just down it? Because I want to get that whole taste instead of sip, sip, sip. I'm still getting, like it's a chalky, uh, it doesn't taste like sour milk, guys. Um, it's uh, it's kind of chalky, it's a, it tastes a little bit sour. It's, um, any of these American candles you miss? American candies. Uh, send me an email, Jeremy, and I will uh, answer you. Um, it's an acquired taste, I will say that, ladies and gentlemen. I will say that. Um, Indigo Rose. I'm gonna point the camera here. Um, I'm actually gonna try this here. I'm gonna take this with me if you don't mind. This is the orange mix here. Hey, looky Lou. Oh, I already said hi to you. At 140 yen. So uh, this is a 100% orange mix. It's with uh, grape, orange, and apple. It should clear my palate quite well. And uh, there we go. It's a, it's a good sized bottle too. It's a good sized bottle. Oh, don't forget my change. Where the hell's my change? Okay. So I'm gonna throw this uh, into my bag here. It does, it, I, I think it's gonna be really good actually, Ram. Oh. It's hard to, uh, do so i don't have much time guys oh shit i'm late already um i gotta go i gotta walk back so we're gonna take a bit of a tour uh but yeah this here is uh basically the whole vending machine this is one of my favorite drink vending machines they pretty much have everything that you could uh ever want here and uh yeah we'll just take a walk out to the main street area we came from over here of course I gotta catch a train uh, up to Akabane. There goes the Sobu line over there. <coughs> so many amazing um, places along here. You got uh, another made cafe, looks kinda cute. I don't know if I'd want a, a young girl like that serving me, but to each their own. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I got durian burps now. And of course, down here, uh, you do have Don Quixote. You do have uh, Carl's Jr., of course. Uh, you got the Hidden Shrine area. You got a lot of uh, pretty great places to explore. Soft map, you're gonna have a lot of uh, big electronic stores like Soft Mac, Bit Camera. On the other side there, you can just see a little bit of there. That's uh, Yodabashi, uh, Japan's biggest uh, electronic store. Uh, which is here in Akihabara. I don't know if they say it's Japan's biggest or the world's biggest. This is Daikokuya. If you're going to change money, come to here. When you come to Japan, come to Daikokuya. 
It's uh, got really great exchange rates. Better than the airport and a better than a lot of other places. But Yoshinoya Comic Zin, the iconic, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna call it the iconic um, look of Akihabara with the train going across, so on and so forth. And there's hidden vending machines everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, the vending machines I wanted to go to are way down there, but I don't have much time. Uh, but there are gashapon everywhere you go. And we'll just see as we're walking which way it is here. My train is literally in three minutes, but I'm going to end up missing that one. So hopefully I can uh, get the one right after that. But, you know, as soon as you turn the corner, more vending machines. There are literally vending machines everywhere. Of course, it's repeat drinks and things like that, but talk about convenience. Look at Dr. Pepper. They have vending machines basically everywhere. We're just coming into uh, Akihabara Station again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I go, uh, please check out my Instagram. I've been posting Olympic torches. <laughs> I have a vlog coming up for you tomorrow morning. It's a premiered vlog. <coughs> Excuse me. There will be no morning coffee show. It'll well the morning coffee show will be a premiere. Uh, it's history on the Olympic torches, medals, and posters. I hope you enjoy it. Um, check out my Instagram also. Um, I'm posting uh, Olympic torches and asking you guys which ones are your favorites or which one country this is from, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, so please go check that out. Patreon members. I do have a video uh, for you guys coming out also. Uh, basically, JP made me go to Burger King, and uh, so I have that coming out with a bit of a Weno night walk uh, for you guys with a personal message attached to it also. And yeah, we're just coming into the central exit here. Yeah, you might have seen, the, yeah, well, you never saw the, the big display Tokyo Ball. And of course, uh, Gundam Cafe is over there. Uh, AKB48 Cafe used to be here. And uh, now there's a Beck's Coffee here and a bunch of space. And of course, I do have another walking video of actually going up over here and checking out uh, Akihabara to Weno to uh, Asakusa, but I'm just not going to post it. It didn't turn out very well. So, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Um, if you do want the stuff that's sent to you, of course, you're going to have to send me posters and so on and so forth uh, via PayPal. Um, so, yeah, thank you, guys. i got to get off to work. Please check out these two videos here. And um, I want to say thank you to the community. I think we're at 98 Emoji Club members. We're almost at 100. I hope we can get to 100 and stay over 100. Remember, everything goes to charity, guys. Uh, community, thank you. Moderators, thank you for your time. Uh, Patreon members and Emoji Club members, thank you uh, for your support. Okay, now, please check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here, and subscribe. Keep it real, keep it raw, show to yourself, because I always do. Gotta go, gotta catch the train. Have a great day, everybody, bye.